YouTube. So today I wanted to just do a quick video for you guys on the stuff that I use in my hair because I get so many questions on what kind of hair products do I use, what shampoo, what conditioner, things like that, and how I kind of blow dry my hair so that I get, um, you know, a good decent amount of volume right here in my bangs. Um, I'm going to first start off with the products that I actually use in shower. So let's go to my shower. So coming in to my bathtub, please excuse I'm not dressed. This is just my, I'm going to get ready, so I just throw on whatever. Um, basically, FTC, before I begin, these Swath products I bought with my own money. Anything that is macadamia natural oil was actually given to me by Flatiron Experts for free. Yes, I was given these products for free. No, I'm not being paid to do this video. I just get so many questions about what I use in my hair, so I decided I would finally do this video for you guys. Basically... This is the shampoo that I have been using for a little over a month now. And this is from Macadamia Natural Oil. Like I said, this is their rejuvenating shampoo. This is supposed to be really good for dry and damaged hair. And it's supposed to help moisturize. So basically what I like about this shampoo is that it really does help my hair. Ever since I started using these Macadamia products, my hair has been so much softer. You guys have noticed that even my third day hair still looks like it's really clean. It doesn't seem oily. It doesn't get dirty. Like, it, you know, just when I would normally use other shampoos, like even the Suave. I love the Suave. It's super cheap. But even the Suave, when I would, you know, have second day hair, it would sometimes be very oily or hard to maintain. And when I use this, so... I don't know, you guys should comment down below if you guys have heard this or if it's true or if what I heard was just bogus, but I heard that if there's a shampoo that bubbles a lot, then it's actually a lot, lot worse for your hair than a shampoo that barely bubbles because I guess the, edit, the added bubble, the added soap is actually not as good for your hair because of the chemicals that it has and it kind of takes away your natural shine and stuff like that. So I don't know if that's true, but you guys tell me if it is or if it isn't, if you guys know. Um, but why I bring that up is because this doesn't exactly bubble up. Like, when I would put on, say, this shampoo, this one bubbles up a lot. Like, you rub your hair and it's just foamy all around. You got a big foamy head. This one, however, when I put this in my hair, it doesn't get super bubbly. Of course it's going to bubble up because it is shampoo, you know, whatever. But it doesn't get, like, I don't have a whole head of foam, if you guys get what I mean. It barely bubbles, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Um, one of my new favorites, actually. I mean, of course I'll still buy my little, you know, cheap ones, but I really, 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 really like this one, and I totally recommend it to you guys, because I don't, if you don't know me in person, you can't really see a result in person, but in my videos, a lot of you guys have been saying my hair looks super healthy and stuff like that, and before it never really was, it's never been healthy, it's still not healthy, but it looks so much healthier than it used to, and I really like that. Um... Another thing that they gave me, which has water all over it because I just took a shower, is this deep repair mask. And this is supposed to, let me see, revitalize hair reconstruction for dry and damaged hair. Um, so this is basically macadamia and argan, argan oils, that's how you say it, with tea tree and chamomile oils, algae and aloe. Yeah, well, whatever. You're only supposed to use this about twice a week, no more than that. I've only used it twice since I've had it, and I didn't do it within the same week. I did it once, and then I did it recently, like a day or two ago. But this is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so when you're in the shower, you actually leave this in your hair for about seven minutes. It's like a deep, deep, like, kind of like a leave-in conditioner, but not really, because you wash it out, and leave-in conditioner, you don't. But when you rinse this out of your hair, my gosh, your hair feels so freaking soft. Like, I can't explain how soft my hair feels after I use this stuff. It is just amazing. Like, I've never, I don't know, I've never had, because I've used a lot of hair treatments where you kind of have to leave them in for a while. Even when I do my normal conditioner, I leave that in my hair for, you know, while I'm washing my body or shaving my legs or whatever I'm doing. I leave that in my hair and then I rinse it out. And my hair feels soft, obviously, because you left conditioner in your hair for a while. But with this, you leave this in your hair for seven minutes and you wash it out and it's like you have brand new hair. It feels so amazing. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But I would highly recommend this. If you don't even want to get anything else from the line, just get this because this is just amazing. It's their deep repair mask and I seriously think that it seriously, 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 it really does help repair my hair because my hair has been feeling so much better and just immediately after rinse, you can just feel how soft your hair feels. Okay, so the next thing that I have here from the Macadamia Natural Oil is the Healing Oil Treatment and this is supposed to help, uh, let me read what it's supposed to do. Weightlessly infusing moisture, health, softness, protection, and control and shine. 
So it's supposed to be like a controlling, or a controlling, a serum that's good for shine and protecting against heat and all that good stuff. And I have to say that I love this stuff, not only because I freaking love the smell of it, it smells like such a pretty perfume, but also because it just, it makes my hair feel super soft and it really does help when I'm putting heat onto my hair to um, help my hair feel, you know, like it's not being burnt to death. Okay, then this is the Noish, Noishing, the Noishing, the Nourishing Leave-In Cream, which is basically a leave-in conditioner, and I use this quite a few times as well. I use this when I know I don't want to do anything that has too much volume, like if I want a lot of volume in my hair. Um, I won't use this because, of course, it's a leave-in conditioner, and conditioners will add a lot more uh, weight to your hair, so... I don't do anything that involves a volume kind of stuff, volume styling when I use this, but this stuff is amazing. It makes your hair feel soft all day long. If you go to sleep with it, your hair feels amazing in the morning because that's what I basically like to use this the most is at night. After like when my hair is wet at night, I like to put this in there. Awesome, awesome stuff. So now um, that I've talked to you guys a little bit about that, I want to go ahead and show you guys kind of how I style my hair. Now my hair has been drying because my battery died so I had to charge it so it's kind of like halfway dried, halfway damp still but it's okay because you don't want your hair soaking wet when you apply products like these because if you apply products to your hair soaking wet it just kind of diffuses the the product itself so the ingredients don't get to work as good and you know you don't get the full effect of what you want. So anyways I just take a little bit of that, you see it's like a dime size and Oh my gosh, I love the way it smells. I seriously do. And I just kind of apply this throughout my hair. But don't overdo it because I have overdone it a few times and, you know, your hair feels a little bit kind of greasy because it is an oil. Then what I like to do is I like to kind of part my hair. Um, however, I want my bangs. My hair was already parted because I parted it earlier so that it wouldn't dry crazy. But I part it to where I really want my bangs to be. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my blow dryer. This is a Babyless Pro Nano Titanium whatever Torn Torino blow dryer. Um, I also got this from Flatiron Experts as well as this brush. I, it actually came in a set of brushes and these are the Avanti Ultra and they're just a whole bunch of round brushes that are really they're really good because they are all metal around the or around the head of the brush it's all metal so it actually heats up a lot better than most brushes because I have another brush like this but it's all plastic and so when you want to go and heat it up it doesn't heat up as good so I like the fact that this is metal and excuse all the hair in it I haven't cleaned these brushes lately <laughs> but anyways um since it's metal it helps heat up a lot better so that way when I'm actually going to try to add a little bit of volume into my bangs it's helping to curl it as well so that it's not you know just I don't know, just blow drying it. It's helping to curl it as well. So, um, again, FTC wasn't paid to do this video, just giving these products for free. So, anyways, I take my blow dryer, and then I just take this. Now, I'm going to explain it to you guys before I start blow drying, because it's going to be super loud, so I'm actually going to cut out the sound. But what I do is I just basically, for my bangs, I start by taking them and blow drying them as if I had front straight across bangs, so as if it was going straight across my head and I was just blow drying them straight across, like that, okay? And then when I get to um, this side, I like to go like this and kind of go towards my face, as if I'm trying to blow dry my hair all in towards my face. And then um, I keep going through the rest of my hair, so like this, I'll start to, ooh, there is a knot, I'll start to go in toward my face, but then remember to bring it back to the front and bring it up and back to the front and then I just do that all around my hair. For the back I do the same thing. I pull hair from the back and blow it right like that. So let's get started. so that they don't just stay flat on my face. And you can keep doing this until you get your desired volume, but I don't like to do that because I just kind of blow dry everything and then I start to curl my hair. And then when I curl it, I get extra volume and all that good stuff. So I hope that this was helpful for you guys. A lot of you guys asked how I got that extra bit of volume up here. Um, 
and especially the volume of my bangs because it has changed since I had those really short bangs. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will link all the places that you can find these products down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye YouTube.